I'm Madison Pulido, and we're here at Janie's Record Shop finding out all the history from the Tejano roots. Well, I just wanted to say thank you so much for having me here, to be able to be here in the presence of you and your family and your wonderful mother. I just wanted to know the history of this store. Well, uh, our mother is legendary here in, in the, the industry. Back in the early days in the 70s, you know, my mom always had thought about opening up a record shop. But, of course, you know, she was a homemaker, and, and um, you know, that was her dream. Well, she made it a reality back in 85 when she started uh, August 1st, 1985 is very significant to my mother because that's, she, she, she chose that date because that was her mother's birthday. So she started on August 1st, 1985 when she opened up the store. Aww. It was her passion, so it, was, uh, it came pretty, pretty normal for her. Yeah. And so how does it feel carrying on the legacy of your mother? Oh, man. Well, we'll never fill the shoes, that's for sure. She left an impression. I was in the corporate world for 27 years before I came to work with my mother. And... When they moved it to Austin, I, st I stayed here because I, st I would take care of her. So I st one day I walked out into her room and says, hey, mom, can I go work with you? And she says, si, mi hijo, ven, vente conmigo. So I, that's when I started the journey with, with, with my, my mom. And of course, my sisters were already involved, but uh, I didn't know I was going to love it as much as I do. And I've taken it like a sponge, you know. Mama taught me a lot about the industry, about the music, the love for the music, and uh, now I don't, I hate leaving here. Yes, it's like <laughs> you, every day. You walk in and it's like you're walking into the past, you know? It's just a big museum of a bunch of history. Yeah, and well, my mama, I don't want to call her a hoarder, but she, <laughs> she, she collected a lot of music and she would not throw any music away. I could tell you, I could go on and on and tell you stories about how passionate my mom was about the music, but any clipping, she would save it. Any poster, she would save it. So it wasn't because it was gonna be worth something down the line. It was because nobody wanted that stuff. It, you know, when, when vinyl came out, you know, and then, and then it went away, she kept buying it and, you know, she didn't know much about rock and everything, but she bought it and she put it in storage. And I would say, mom, why do you collect all this, all these records? She says, I go, you're spending all this money. She goes, you just leave it alone. It's mine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> now I know what she collected over all these years. And when I started to do a lot of research on the music, not only, you know, the, the Tejano, and it's, it's all genres. Mama loved all kinds of, uh, I mean, one of her favorite singers was Lionel Richie. <laughs> so wow. so you could see her love was uh, all the way around. Yes, she was. She loved all the genres of different music. Well, that is so amazing. This place is literally very historical, very beautiful, and there's so much. I, I feel like I feel your mom's presence here, oh, you yeah. know? Yeah, this is uh, right after her passing. You know, they thought we were going to shut, but there's no way. We're, we, got, we got so much love for the music. We got, Mama had so much, so much inventory that... I'm, I go to the back and I dig out something that just like, it, it, it amazes me what I find. One thing that I, I have a saying that I kept to myself and I explain that to my family is that when someone walks in this door, I want them to know a little bit more about the music industry by the time they leave. Yes. And that's way, because some people are just totally like, no, it's going to this. And then I start explaining it to them and they're just, wow, I didn't know that. So a little bit of knowledge goes a long way. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, and by the way, she's the first one to actually stand here and give a performance on this stage. Well, thank you again so much for having me here. It's definitely such an honor, and we will definitely be coming to visit yeah, soon again. Everybody's welcome. Mama kept the door open for everybody. Yes. So and we're going we're gonna to keep it going. We're, we are not going anywhere.